Hey guys, and welcome back to Rhea's World of Ideas. Today's video is a Dollar Tree DIY video, and in this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you guys some farmhouse style fall DIYs that I created for my home. All these have, like I said, a little farmhouse style twist and kind of like a neutral theme, but you can basically take these DIYs and switch up the colors and make them any for any style in your home that you want. So I hope you guys enjoy it. So the first two DIYs I'm gonna be sharing with you guys are more of like makeovers. So I found this farmhouse style jug vase at Dollar General last year for $5 during Christmas time. And I knew I wanted to use it again for the fall time. So I'm gonna make over the other side. And I'm gonna use this rub on transfer sticker that they have right now at Dollar Tree. Um, this one says grateful, thankful, and blessed, but they come with four different designs. And I actually picked up all four designs and I shared it with you guys in my Dollar Tree haul. If you haven't seen that video, I'll put the link down below if you wanna see that video and to see the other options that you can pick up. They are beautiful and gorgeous and I couldn't believe that I found them for just a dollar at Dollar Tree. But I thought this one would be perfect um, on this little kind of like farmhouse style jug vase. I don't know if that's what you're called this, but um, that's what I'm gonna call it because I don't know exactly what to call this. If you know what the name for this is, definitely leave me a comment down below, but I'm just gonna call it a farmhouse style jug vase. But I like this one because it kind of had like the Ray Dunn writing and like cursive writing as well with the little fall touches. And I thought it would be perfect to put it on the other side so that way I can use this um, this vase for you know the fall time but also during Christmas time as well. So this would be perfect if you're gonna put this up against on a shelf against the wall. This wouldn't be a great thing to have if you're gonna be able to see it all around um, because you don't wanna be able to see like the Christmas during the fall and the fall during the Christmas. So I would definitely just you know have this um, this type of vase against you know on a shelf or up against the wall so that they don't see the other side so you can leave it like that but I decided I wanted to make it a little bit more farmhouse style and you know adding a little black touches to the edges of like a jug or anything always makes it a little bit more farmhouse so that's what I'm doing I'm just taking my little sponge um, paintbrush that you can get in the auto section at Dollar Tree or even in the craft section and I'm just painting um, some black paint around it i'm not trying to be too precise because like the messier the better it makes it look more farmhouse and, and more aged and everything and you can basically decide where you're going to put your black paint on it i didn't want to put too much and go overboard so i'm just doing around the edges of the top and the bottom And this is how it turned out. I think it's really cute. It has a cute farmhouse style to it. And to decorate it, I just put some fall wheat in it. Um, that's what they call it. They call these florals just wheat. And I used two different colors of the wheat that they have. They have this light one that's really in style that everybody likes. And they also have like this brown, browner shade one. So these are two different shades of the wheat grass, I guess you can call them, that Dollar Tree has right now. And I think these florals are the perfect florals to put in this little farmhouse style, you know, jug vase. The next DIY is also a makeover. Dollar Tree has these beautiful wood pumpkins that are actually monogrammed. Um, and if you're lucky enough, you can find your actual letter. I wasn't lucky enough, they only had H and T. So I decided that I was gonna take the H and just paint over it. They do come in orange, which I'm gonna share with you guys the orange one in just a minute. But the white one to me is easier to cover up because it's better to match a white color than an orange color because there can be so many different oranges. So for me, it was better to cover up the orange, I mean the white one and the orange one had my letter so um, the letter in my name so I don't have to worry about it but I just took regular white paint and I touched up all the white areas with that white paint and when it dried you could see that they it actually matched and it looked really nice so to make this over I'm gonna take another one of those rub-on transfers this one says hello autumn which is another beautiful one and I'm gonna use this one to put in the middle of these pumpkins now these pumpkins look fine just as is if you left it just white Walmart actually has these exact same pumpkins guys in just a regular white, a regular blue, a regular orange and they're selling them for I think $2.98 or $5.98 and you can get these at Dollar Tree for just a dollar and just paint over them and make them that plain color that Walmart has and save so much money. So they, this is a great deal. If you could find these wood pumpkins, these are amazing because you can, like I said, you could just have them plain or you could put on these um, rub on transfers or if you have a Cricut, you could add whatever you want. Now I will say, as you can see that I'm doing, this rub-on transfer didn't transfer as easy on this wood piece than it did the jug because it has like little grooves in it and it is wood. So I had to get like a little wood stick and I had to kind of like go over 
the picture and the letters to make sure that they actually stuck to it and then I would pull it back a little by little to see if it stuck on and then if it didn't stick stick on I would go I would put the transfer plastic back on and then go over it again so whenever you're doing these transfer these rub-on transfers that you get from Dollar Tree always pull them back slowly and if you see that it's coming up you can lay it back down and just rub it you know with a little stick and then you you'll be fine but this is how it looks and it comes out so beautiful like look at this guys this would cost way more in the stores and this only cost me like two dollars at Dollar Tree to make over mine and I, I paired it up with the one that I told you is the orange one that I actually found in my letter um, I actually found an R for it for Rhea um, but I have to say that I'm not actually liking the R I think the R is not uh, as cute as I thought it was um, but I'm pairing it up together and I think it's cute but again you can also take the orange one and redo it any color you want these are just these are an amazing deal guys these two wooden pumpkins are an amazing deal to get them and make them over and it'll still be cheaper than what they have them at the stores Dollar Tree right now has a bunch of these like 3D leaves and pumpkins and I shared these with you guys in my Dollar Tree haul and I told you guys in my Dollar Tree haul that I was going to remove all the excess pieces and kind of redo it um, the way that I wanted to. And so how I removed these is I took my um, blow dryer and I applied heat to it, which you have to apply actually a lot of heat. And then I took a butter knife and then I just popped the stuff off. Now it's showing easy right now because I already did this off camera because I wanted to see if I could do it before I shared it with you guys. But let me tell you guys, it takes a while and you got to be very patient when you do this and be very careful so you don't split the wood. Now, if you do split the wood on one side, you can easily flip it over to the other side and then, you know, use the other side as well. So um, I have these two, one says welcome with a bunch of leaves on it that I really didn't like. And the other one said, hello autumn. And as you can see, you know, the front of this is all messed up. Now, if you were just gonna paint this, you don't have to worry about it. But I'm flipping over to the back side because I wanna stain mine. And when you stain it, you wanna see all the wood grain. So you don't wanna see all the little messed up pieces from taking that stuff off. So that's why I'm flipping mine over. But like I said, if you're gonna paint it, don't worry about it. So I'm taking this khaki color, uh, khaki color, the apple barrel khaki color, and I diluted it in some water to make a stain. And this is a very cheap way to stain different DIYs and not have to buy stain, is just take the color that you want, dilute it in water, and it makes a perfect stain for any of your DIYs. So I wanted to make this look natural. I, I'm really into the natural look this fall. I don't know why, but I really am into all like the natural wood look and you've seen it in a lot of my DIYs lately. So I wanted like the light khaki color, but you can also take light browns and dark browns. Um, you can also do some reds and stain it that way too. However you want to do it, you can mix some brown and red, um, but you can make basically customize your own stain just by having colors and diluting it in water. And so I'm just going to add that to the leaves. And as you can see, I have some pumpkins on this side. That's another DIY that I'm going to share with you guys later on. I'm still working on it. And so it hasn't come out quite the way I wanted it to. So stay tuned, but you'll see those 3D pumpkins in another huge DIY. And I think you guys are going to love it. But yes, I just take my regular paintbrush and I just keep staining it. Um, and you just basically apply as many layers as you want till you achieve the color that you want. So while I wait for the stain to dry, I'm going to paint the words and I decided I was going to paint the words orange because even though I'm into the neutral tones this year, I still like that pop of orange to bring out like the natural colors of fall. Like regardless of like if I do some net, you know, neutral tones, I love the pop of orange for fall because that just makes me feel like fall is here. Um, and then the color that I'm using is actually Harvest Orange by Apple Barrel. To apply the words back onto the leaves, I just used my hot glue gun, but you can use wood glue as well. I just wanted to use my hot glue gun for the fast drying time. So Dollar Tree now has these gold and silver like metal, I guess wreath 
racks or holders I don't know what you call this um, they usually come in green but now they have gold and silver so I'm gonna take this one and I'm actually gonna cut out the middle circle because what I want to do is I want to be able to put this leaf the one that says hello autumn in the middle of it and have like the gold circle around it um, now Dollar Tree does have where they sell the gold rings separately but I haven't been able to find it in my stores so that's an option for you guys if you can find the three separate gold metal wreaths this would be perfect I mean rings this would be perfect for it but I couldn't so this is an alternative so I just took some sharp pliers and I'm just gonna cut um, cut it loose from the from all the other rings of it and it does take a little finessing a little um, moving around if you have sharper pliers like than the ones I have then it'll probably be an easier cut but the ones I have are not very that 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 strong so I had to keep moving it back and forth until I can get it to cut through the actual metal So as you can see, when I separated that ring, there's still three other rings that you guys can use with this wreath to make other DIYs, or you can actually still use this to make a wreath. So you can make multiple things with this uh, gold wreath if you are not able to find those three separate rings, um, gold rings in Dollar Tree like I haven't been able to, this is an option. So I'm gonna be sharing with you guys how you can make this DIY two ways. The first way is you could take this little leaf that said Hello Autumn and just glue it directly onto this gold ring and leave it it as is and this is this looks cute I've seen something like this in the stores before um, it goes for like about 20 30 dollars and it's just like this and it's and it looks nice so you can use this on your door on a, on a shelf just as is this is cute but I want to step it up a notch so what I did was Dollar Tree has these LED leaf garland lights that I share with you guys during the springtime I hauled it to you guys during the springtime so I had them and I decided to wrap it around the gold ring because I wanted to make this kind of like a light up DIY and I, I wanted to add a touch of greenery because I've always you guys know me I always like to add a touch of greenery to any DIY because a touch of greenery in your decor just looks nice so I thought this would be perfect and then I also wanted to make this not to be by itself but I wanted to to put it on a window frame now I made this window frame on my channel before I will link the video down below where I made three different type of farmhouse style window frames for you guys and this one was made out of four five by seven canvas those those painting canvases that I took the you know the canvas part off and it was I left the wood glued them together and painted it white but again I'll put the video down below if you want to see it but this window frame I felt like it would be perfect for this DIY because I've seen something like this at Walmart where they had like fall decor window frame um, decor and I knew I can make my own with Dollar Tree products I felt like the ring and the leaf looked cute together but it was a little simple for me so I wanted to add a little bit more so I'm making sure that I pulled out the little LED um, battery pack underneath the window frame because I am going to glue it to the back of it before I glue the actual garland part down because you want to make sure that that little wire is like behind the window frame itself because you want to be able to glue it behind the window frame um, so it's not seen when you you know on your DIY and then I'm just using hot glue gun to glue everything down. Now when it comes time to glue the battery pack to the pack, make sure that you do not glue it to where you cannot remove the batteries. So you want to make sure that you glue the side down that doesn't need to be removed when you're changing out the batteries. And here's how it turned out you guys and you can actually make this DIY three ways not two ways the first way is the way that I share with you and also the second way is you can add the green garland to it and not put it on a window frame and then the third way is of course this way right here and I think it's just so beautiful and again I've seen something like this at Walmart I think it was like $25 or maybe 30 and you know if you've seen something like this guys at any other place it'd probably be like 40 um, and I made it basically recreated with Dollar Tree products and I just get excited every time when I can recreate something that I see in the stores that's beautiful with Dollar Tree items on a much smaller budget the other leaf I created the one that says welcome I thought would go perfectly on this wreath that I made I shared this video with you guys and it's on my channel now I'll link it down below but I created this wreath with Dollar Tree products as well and I just felt like this welcome leaf looks perfectly on it and because it's gonna go in my front yard I mean not my front yard my front door of course I wanted something that says welcome so for me I felt like this was the perfect place for it but you can use it anywhere in your home you can leave it by itself but it also looks really nice on a wreath Dollar Tree this year also brought out these new slated pumpkins and I knew that I wanted to stain them the same way that I did the leaves.
and here's how it looks once it's stained and you can leave this as is i feel like that this as is looks nice and it looks very farmhouse decor so really you don't need to add anything to it to make it look like farmhouse decor but you guys know that i like to add words and different sayings to my diys so i took one of the galvanized letters um not letters galvanized words that dollar tree has they have it's three to a pack and it says thankful welcome and harvest and i'm taking the one that says thankful and i spray painted it white and I'm just gluing it on to this pumpkin with my hot glue gun. When I saw this slated pumpkin in the store, I instantly thought that these would look good paired up with like some cutting boards and styled in my kitchen. So that's why I wanted to make this pumpkin like a neutral color so it looks like a cutting board. And I feel like layering it with a neutral cutting board just is just the perfect decor for your kitchen. Now this cutting board is the one that they have in the Target dollar spot right now for $5. It's actually an elevated cutting board, but I'm just, you know, laying it, you know, you know leaning it to the leaning it to my wall but you can it's also an elevated one this five dollars which i think is an actual good deal but i just feel like this these two things paired together looks good but you can pair it with any cutting board you like but i love how this makes my kitchen look so this fall decor sign i shared it with you guys in my dollar tree hauls and i talked about how it was such a good deal because it's a it's a fall decor sign that looks very high end and it comes with the beads already attached to it which a lot of people have made dollar tree diys to create this but it was already created for you in dollar tree so i thought it was such a good deal for a dollar now it's not my style to have the beads on the top unless i was going to hang it from like a hook and so these little fall decor um signs i'm not going to hang them from like a hook i'm going to actually use them on my tear trays so i didn't need the beads to be i didn't need to use the beads so what i decided to do was i decided to take the beads off and i actually bought four of these signs so i was going to take all four beads off and i was going to basically make my own beaded garland and that way i can have my own bead garland for, for the fall time because i know that dollar tree has some bead garland but i haven't been able to find it in my stores so i was like you know what i'm just going to create my own with these beads so here are all the beads that I got from the four signs, which are a good amount of beads. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to string them on this twine that you can also find a Dollar Tree. It comes three to a pack. You get two of this color and one of like a green color. Um, and I've had this, I've had this little twine for like the longest. It, it lasts me a long time, but I'm going to put a little piece of tape on the end of it so that I can thread, um, so I can make um, it easier for me to thread through the beads. Now on one end of these wooden beads, I'm attaching this wooden leaf ornament that you can get at Dollar Tree. I believe they come five in a pack or six in a pack that I painted orange. And on the other end, I created a tassel using the same string that I used to string up the beads. You can use this bead garland to decorate multiple things in your home like tear trays on stacked books um, you can also just have them on the shelf you can have them wrapped around a vase there's so many ways that you can use these beads to decorate your home for the fall 
For the last DIY that I'm going to share with you guys, I'm going to take these two mini wooden pallets and glue them together. Then I'm going to take this pumpkin like decor that I found at Dollar General for a dollar. I'm going to remove the beads from this uh, decor piece, save the beads for another DIY, not something I'm going to share with you guys on this um, video, but on another video I'm going to share with you guys what I do with these beads. But then I'm going to glue this pumpkin onto the wooden pallets that I glued together. I wanted to cover up the holes that were left on this pumpkin from where the beads were at. So I'm taking some of this greenery that I had on hand. I believe this is the one yet. Yeah, I found this at Dollar Tree and you could tell this greenery, like I told you guys, Dollar Tree has been stepping up their game when it comes to greenery because it looks so real. So I'm just looking and I'm going to take the smallest pieces and put them over those little holes and I'm just going to glue them down using my glue gun. And this is how it turned out you guys i love it it's a cute little farmhouse decor piece that you can use on a tear tray or just by itself on a shelf so i really like how cute this came out and that is it for today's video you guys i hope you guys enjoyed today's video again like i always tell you guys i hope i gave you guys some inspiration and some creative ideas to make some diys of your own for this fall in your home with dollar tree items because like i always say you don't have to spend a lot of money to make your house a beautiful home stay tuned i do have some more um diy videos to share with you guys and then i'll be decorating my house for the fall and i'll catch you guys in my next video bye guys Hey guys, don't forget to click on the picture in the middle of the screen so you can subscribe to my channel and get notifications on all the new videos that I put out. And check out these other two videos that I have posted on my channel on either side of my picture. Have a great day.